Hello and welcome to a Wake in the Life video on my channel. Um, this is for everyone that's wondering what it's like to work as a entrepreneur, as a slime shop at um, the age of 19 as a full-time college student and this is a little bit of some highlights of my week um, in terms of the work I do and some fun unboxing and slime making for you guys. A really cool thing about owning a business is all of the stuff that I get to unbox pretty much every other day, if not every day. I'll get packages with new containers, stickers, mailing supplies, um, ingredients, and even PR packages from different brands. And it kind of feels like Christmas every day, which is really nice. This is me stocking my shipping shelf with some of my new boxes and envelopes. It may seem like a lot, but I do go through these pretty quickly, so I have to make sure I have everything in stock when I need it. And I even got some new stickers in the mail. I believe this is 5,000 stickers that you're seeing, um, and I think they're so cute. I actually got a new shipment in the mail this week of some of my new sprinkles and I got them in all different colors so that when I get a new idea, I have everything I need to make it. And if you look pretty closely, these are actually shaped like hearts and they're for Valentine's Day, which was when I was filming this. And I'll give you a quick overview of my sprinkle collection. If you guys want a room tour, let me know. Maybe that'll be my next video. I also got a new shipment of some of my poppets that I'm adding to my shop and I am planning to include these in some bundles that I'm making with slimes as well as selling them separately and they're currently in my shop if you'd like to click the link down below. Around this time is when I would start planning my next restock and I would do this by going through the notes app of my phone which is where I jot down a lot of the ideas I have throughout the week and I would go on social media and look at some of the posts that I've saved and I'd go on Pinterest to look at some of the bakery items that I would like to make slimes based of or what's trending or what movies are popular right now and I actually used to walk down the paint section of like a Lowe's or a Home Depot store when I was first starting out slime and I would read the names of the paint samples to see if I was able to come up with any slime ideas from those names and make it that color. Um, I don't really do that anymore but I think that definitely got me a lot of slime ideas in the past. Something I also do to come up with ideas is I'll go through my supplies that I have on hand and see what I haven't used yet and what colors kind of go together. And I'll look through my sprinkles and my charms and different pigments I have um, to come up with different combinations. And that way I can use up some of the um, sprinkles I have on hand because you guys have seen that I definitely have a lot of it and um, that's kind of the creative process. Sometimes I'll have lots of ideas and I'm so excited to make it, and other times I'm kind of stumped. Next up, we have meetings and designing my website as well as graphics. This week I spoke to Pinterest for campaigns as well as Pillow Pets for a collaboration giveaway we're doing in the near future. And while I do pretty much everything on my own for this business, I do have a graphic designer that does a lot of the artwork that you'll see on my social media, such as my logo and this little firefly selling slime that I put at the bottom of my graphic. Um, this is me making the restock list with some of the new items I have that I made on Procreate. Next, I ordered a few thousand new business cards before hopping on a call with a podcast host to talk about my journey as a business owner, which I'll link down below so you guys could give that a listen. And finally, it's the slime making process of the restock. I'll start off with my industrial mixer and make all of the slimes I had planned for the week and set it aside on my shelf in these big containers to let all the bubbles rise. If I were to 
jar the slimes immediately after they were mixed. They would start to deflate a little bit because of all of the air that is mixed into the slime when I'm making it. The wait time for bubbles to rise for slimes is even longer with some textures such as Bingsu slimes and clear slimes. So sometimes I'll make those like two weeks ahead of time and put them on my shelf for all the bubbles to rise so that when I'm ready to start making all my other restock slimes, I have the base ready to add to anything I need. Of course, if I come up with new ideas while making the slimes, which is pretty common, I'll go ahead and edit the restock list before posting it. This process includes a lot of mini prototypes before making the big batches so that I make sure I'm proud of everything that I make. Next up, we have filming videos and taking the product photos. This includes filming all of the finished products of the slimes I make and taking the long, long process of editing everything together to post on my social media. Um, I'll have to edit slightly longer videos for Instagram and shorter ones for TikTok sometimes, so this definitely is a big chunk of what takes up so much time in my business. Finally, it is time to jar up all the slimes. So now um, I'll go ahead and lay out all of my containers and put the slimes in to let them sit and then go back and add more on top to make sure they're not underfilled. Um, I think this process of putting stickers on is pretty satisfying, so I made sure to include lots of footage of that. Another part of the process that I didn't include in this video is having to make all of the labels that go on the side of the jars. This would include making the label on Procreate and then exporting it onto my computer to put on a template and print out. I try to keep my restocks consisting of both new products as well as best sellers and I'll go based on what are some iconic slimes in my shop of what I am known for, as well as some products that I've made recently that I have seen people request to bring back. And I will also include some of the new products I have so that um, returning customers can always see new things in the shop. Some of my all-time best sellers, which I try to keep in every restock, would be Cupid's Crunch, Strawberry Boba, Frosted Animal Cookie Dough, Cookies and Cream Frosting, Strawberry Jam, Ramune Boba, Rainbow Cookie Dough, and Acai Bowl. While I'm working, I like to listen to music or listen to documentaries since they don't require as much attention as watching a movie or show would. And I definitely watched my fair share of really odd documentaries because of that. A pretty cool thing about being your own boss is that if I do have other responsibilities such as studying for exams since I am a college student or um, working on projects for my marketing internship, I can easily do those first and then work on my other slime things after I get those done. These two ounce mystery slimes are really popular in my shop, especially for those that are trying out slime or are looking to try out new textures and they come in different size bundles so you can get whatever is in your budget. These are great for purse slimes so you can keep them in your bag for on the go and are especially popular during Christmas time when people are looking for stocking stuffers and just lots of presents in general to give to many of their loved ones. And I would definitely recommend this if you are trying out slimes for the first time. This slime here is Cupid's Crunch and shows a little bit red on camera, but it's actually a really vibrant pink and is my all-time bestseller. After making all of the slimes, I will go ahead and make all of my clay sculptures that I use for my DIY slimes, which are super popular because you can mix in the clay yourself to make a really great um, butter texture. Usually I'd put slimes up on the shelf as I finish putting them in containers, but I did adjust the shelving a little bit, so here's me putting everything back up.
Every month, I would go back to Learning Express Renton and restock my slime shelf. And it's so cool that I get to sell slimes in person as well as on my own website. And here's some footage of me stocking the slime with the help of my dad and taking down the poster to put up my brand new poster since the last one was our seasonal Christmas one. If you live near Renton, Washington, I will leave the address down below of where you can find this store so you can purchase some slime and let them know that I sent you. And now it's time to package orders. I don't know if this is just me, but I find so much joy in starting a new roll of tape or a new roll of shipping labels because it's a little reminder of how much work I'm doing and how many packages I'm doing um, throughout the week because of how quickly I go through these labels. I bubble wrap all of the slimes to make sure they stay safe during transit and this is when I would go and record any packaging videos that people had requested on TikTok and edit those as well. Since I do run this business on my own and don't really get much help, the times that I do wish I had a team would be to help me package orders since this process is really time consuming and um, I do want to get everything shipped out to you guys as soon as possible. So I do my best by breaking up the packages into different days and doing chunks of them, of them at a time and that way I don't overwhelm myself with too much. Um, and end up packaging for like eight hours straight. Sometimes I would drive to the post office to deliver my packages myself, but usually I would schedule a pickup with USPS the night before and have them come in the morning to pick up my packages. And you'd probably think that my mailman hates me from how often I ask him to come and scan my boxes, but he's actually so sweet and supportive and he's even purchased from me one time for his grandkids and sometimes when he sees that I have a lot of mail he would leave and come back with an empty truck just for me so that I have space for everything in his truck. Friday ended up being a really big packaging day for me. I went ahead and fulfilled everything that hadn't already shipped earlier that week and I think it ended up being about 300 packages that had shipped the day after. And after this, I'm pretty much done for the week. Um, the whole process would start over again um, the day after or I would take a break if necessary, but usually it's just me getting back to the grind of starting on my next restock. And I will keep doing this as long as you guys are loving it because I love what I do and I love reading reviews from you guys once your packages arrive and watching unboxing videos. I think they're so fun and so unique for owning a business. And that's everything. If you have a question or a suggestion, please leave it in the comments below.